Hello, YouTube. This is Black Society TV. Um, we're back at y'all with another one. I want to say something about uh, the uh, uh, grandmother who um, was almost robbed at uh, uh, at her food truck on the southwest side of Houston. Um, you know that her her uh, brother and her and her son, all of them own together. Um, you know, good people trying to make a uh, honest living. Um, maybe one of the the few uh, black food trucks that are in the city. Um, I don't know of too many. And she might have been, they might have been the only ones in the area that were black people uh, cooking soul food out of a food truck. You know, or, or whatever they were, you know, what they were fixing. Um, I want to say this. First of all, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and y'all gonna understand what I'm saying when I say it. I knew all along, on every media outlet, I was going and I was asking, why aren't the media outlets letting us know what race this guy was? And I was asking that question for a reason. Okay that uh, tried to rob this lady. Now, they're all black, okay? But I was asking, I kept asking, I kept saying it, and I kept telling my lady, hey, you know what? I wonder why they won't tell us what race this guy is and his name that all the media outlets just kept saying was 23-year-old man, 23-year-old man, okay? 23-year-old man. Even the police wasn't saying nothing about what race he was and his name or none of that. You know, they know that right off the bat. Okay. You know, maybe he has some ID now. If he didn't have an ID on him, that's it may be different. Family have to identify whatever the case may be. That's different. Okay, so they, then in that case they wouldn't know right off the bat. But I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure he did. And uh, and, and and the guy's name who tried to rob her is uh, uh, Ricky Jimenez. Ricky Jimenez. Okay, he is a, he's Latino. He's Hispanic. Okay, Mexican. I knew that the the person who robbed her was a black, and I kept saying it. I said that. If this guy was black, they would have been and told us because that's how the media is. When it comes to black people, uh, they're swift on saying it was black. Oh, it's black male. They are swift with it. Telling what he done, how he done it, giving his criminal background, everything. They're swift with it. I knew that this guy was not black. I knew it. And there's proof that I said this. I knew it. I knew it. For one, you know, I mean, I'm just going to be honest. Like, uh, you know, in some instances, black people do do that. But when it comes to, like, food, you know, them making an honest living food truck, something like that, you know, and I think this lady was well respected in the neighborhood, you know, and I don't think nobody would have would have done that. And what gets me is, you know, if this guy would have survived, if, if, if Ricky Jimenez would have survived, um, he should have been charged with a hate crime. And I'm going to tell you why. Because he passed up. Because in Houston and on the Southwest, too, there are several, several food uh, 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 uh uh, taqueria trucks, food trucks. There are plenty of them. And uh, uh, like taquerias, period. But he passed up all of that just to get to the black food truck and try to rob them. Y'all getting what I'm saying? He passed up all of those just to get to her and try to rob her. Because he didn't want to rob his own. Let's just be honest. He did not want to rob his own. 
So he went straight to her, to their food truck, and probably had been watching them for a minute, for a little while, and and making it sense, and didn't think that they had a gun. But my thing is, and he got everything he deserved for trying to shoot them. And these people are making an honest living, trying to live. And then you're going to try to shoot them from trying to make an honest living and got popped. And thank God this lady was uh, licensed to carry and she defended what was theirs. Now, I hate that she had to go through that, but hey, he paid. He paid. You should have won. You, you, you had plenty of opportunities on the way to her. And you're going to wait till you, you want to go to her, to the, the black the, the black uh, food stand. There ain't too many black food trucks. But you want to take out the one that there one that there is. And now, hey, and she did what she had to do. She did what she had to do. But the guy's name was Ricky Jimenez. Ricky Jimenez. And his face having been plastered all over the news. You know, when that when that guy uh, uh went in that taqueria and robbed that taqueria, it was a big deal. It was a whole big deal. It was a big deal on how he got shot and killed. It was a big deal. Everybody, yeah, yeah, uh, 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 a usual suspect, all of that. Now, the tables has turned. I want to see those same racist, racist people, and you know, and it's racist Latinos and stuff that was coming on that boy getting killed and how it should have happened, and they think that usual suspect and all of that. I want to see y'all comment on this, uh, on, on on this, this situation. When when you know when the table had turned, y'all comment on the same situation. Don't be racist and not comment on it. Right is right and wrong is wrong whether it's Hispanic or black or whatever. They go in and rob something happened like that. Let's get the same answers. Let's get the same answers. As y'all deal with the guy in the talk of the air when he shot the shot the robber down and did all he done. And this lady, she just shot the man. She didn't go step on him, spit on him, throw stuff on him. She didn't do all of that. So, anyway, like, comment, share, and subscribe, YouTube. Tell me what y'all think.